Morning, everybody. All right. Shall we go get some cows in? Let's go. Morning ladies. Hello. How are you, hey? Eh? Come over for pets. It always seems like the closer the cows are to the cow shed, the uh, slower they decide to go. They don't really rush out of this paddock too much. They're like, oh, the cow shed's just there. We've made it. All right, let's keep going. But uh, a yeah, couple, a couple of roast pork. <laughs> go girls, push her up, come on. Four between poles, one, two, three, four to this pole, and we should have eight by this pole, 16 by the next, da, 12, <laughs> 16, and 20. Well, that's the aim, anyways. Go, girls! Pop, 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 dad! How are we doing? Oh, can't complain. Can't complain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're here on time. Come on, girls! Push, push, come on, go on, pop, 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 come on, come on, push her up, come on. Hey, they don't want to push up very well, do they? You gotta love it when the cows are full, they fight to not push up, come on, come on, up, up, come on, come on. They fight to not push up, they fight to not come in, yep, yeah, it's all part of it, come on girls. You get them in slowly, see, they love to turn around. <laughs> 21 more. 21 more? Yep. Just okay, I'll start cupping. <laughs> Let's go, girls. Come on. Yep, they're full. Happy. I don't want to fish. I don't want to fight. Oh. Yeah, reach. 218, hello. Good girls, come on, come on. Rose coming in. Sun's coming up through the fog. And shiny. Dad got a new one. Because the old other one is buggered out. We've got two of them, one of them buggered out. So. Sorry. Come on girls, up we go, come on. Been coming in uh, pretty full today. That's why I'm not coming in too well. You go. Change of pace today. I washed this part of the yard. Dad washed, really washed that part of the yard. and. Uh, Dad did the cups and well, did the um, washing up of the cups. Good, all done, dusted. Right the back go here, and, and it's us. Apparently, we've got a load of metal arriving today to uh, use in spots that we need patched up in the uh, on the races. So we'll get to that, and then we'll go chop some maize. Headed down to go start as a uh, chopper up, and we're just gonna wait around for this uh, load of metal that's coming. A beautiful day today. It's a bit foggy morning to start, but that's the usual. Okay, well, let's get down and uh, see how this fellow goes unloading the metal when he gets here, and then we'll shoot down and go load up some maize. There they are, dropping off the. Uh, About 10 tonne. Oh, Over to break it up. <laughs> Beauty. Yes. That's 10 ton little load. Okay. Better get in this tractor and uh, start her up and go chop some maize. Might grab our silage bale on the way through first. Get our silage bale on board, and the cows are down there. So the angle to get back to go and uh, Grab the silage bow for tonight, but be not a fun angle. So.
wheels are. We're just feeding out to them now. Out of way. Oh, hey, get out of it. Love their maze. Just trying to avoid the cows in front of us. We're feeding out on the high ground at the moment, even though we're going through a low spot. So we're feeding out up on the high ground here because this is our clay, and the clay seems to be growing really well, and it's not as wet. Whereas down that bottom corner, down there with the willow weed is, that's quite uh, wet. So we don't want to get down there and um, feed out down there and cause them to make a mess down there. So we'll feed out up on the high ground and then, uh, yeah, let's go back and reload. Well, yep, yeah, you see the girls pile up down the end there and then slowly start stagnating down this way. So really, Bit to wait sometimes. <laughs> yeah, well, this will probably be us coming back this way. Shall we go and reload and go see our dad's going? He's over there somewhere in the fog. Can't quite see him. Better close this gate, saves us uh, coming back down here to close it. We got their maze. Made a little pile there at the end, reversing the back door. Okay, let's go and reload. The track gets a little bit bumpy. But... Yeah, well that's us all loaded up. Ready for tonight. Let's go see what we get up to today. We're chopping our way through this paddock pretty quickly. This is a shorter maze. Probably only be two weeks to get through this one. If that, the exit and entryway here, we're gonna scrape this off and uh, put some new metal down because it's becoming a bit of a problem. The cow's getting sloshed stones at the feet. draining from this area now and we're just cleaning off this lip so get ready to put some metal in here and that but especially needs some more metal bucket of many gonna spread that out got a lip there and that's what we're planning put the mat there so the cows aren't putting too much pressure on it on their feet just giving it a good level off now the rotten rock. That'll do the job beautifully. As I said, not too much clay, a lot more rock, and the rocks are all breaking up, which is good. What you want? It's good. Looks great. Coming up nicely. And that's so the cows can walk onto that, and then onto the nice stuff. Yeah, it should help them a lot, and also make that last longer. Got a big load on now, so he's just going to use that as a bit of weight for this girl. And then run it over, compact it down a bit.
rolled it well and done a beautiful job of it. See, contours more towards the yard to allow the rain to go, and same with further out that way, so the rain can go that way too. You need water runoff. Looks great. Cows will love walking over that now. So that's sorted. So we're just gonna put this, put the bucket back, and then we're gonna go shift the irrigator. We'll connect this tractor up first. That'll be good. The girls won't be walking on that uh, hard metal underneath that, by that concrete now. We definitely needed that. Jenny, right, it's us. Let's go and hook her back up. Irrigator disconnected it here. She's getting a bit too close to the fence. Next time she goes, she would be in the fence. So turn her around now before it becomes too much of an issue. Let's run the wire out and then let's go and re engage the irrigator. One, two, sweet, ready. Give her a quick wind up. Go, nice and tight, ready to go. Yeah. Tough for today. We've done our jobs that are required, and most of that uh, time got eaten up by the um, by doing that, uh, doing the lips just outside the cow shed. But that'll be, definitely be paying dividends. Those girls won't be going into that. There's some quite hard rock on the way out and on the way in. And now we've put that rotten rock in there, it's a lot softer. And also there's a mat down, so it won't um, mat down in the area where they usually get most of the, where it's quite bad for their feet. That'll, um, it's not there anymore, so that's good. We've got that mat there to protect their feet. Uh, a fair amount of grass I left behind. Definitely not hungry. This paddock was nice, smush trucker though, so it's good. Down the back corner. <laughs> Alright, let's go get them. They're coming. Uh, don't know why they keep coming and standing down this end, but that's alright. Come on, girls, off you go. Come on. Off we go, girls. Come on. Poor girl there. Don't worry, they're not going far tonight. We didn't actually see them when we were looking. So, probably just a stone and bruise. Just a stone and bruise. Come on, girls, up we go. Come on. terrified of it for now but they'll get used to it they'll learn to step on it all in time a couple of the older girls have stood on it come on come on, come on. how we block off the uh, race so they don't go that way there we are motorbike <laughs> all right there's these girls here not too happy with the uh, new mat that goes across there but it's to there to save your feet girls just gonna step over. Hey Dad, how are we doing? Busy. Oh, I see that. You had two rows out before I even got in here. 
Well, they're walking over that map more easily now. Dad decided to get a uh, shovel of cowpoos and put it on the mat. And as you see, the girls are actually stepping on the mat. They're a little bit spooked out by it. Smell it, and there's, ah, oh, it's not that bad. So someone else been dipping on it. Yep. So they're all right. Okay, well, we're going to be on the keepers. Come on, girls, up we go. Come on. Come on, up, up, up. And just go have my Saturday morning. Ready. Thank you. Good evening. Sir. Right, we're off. We're going to go and feed out and uh, put the motorbike away, and that'll be us for today. Good. It's been another cracker of a day. I told the dad, he said that it was good that he put that uh, cow crap onto it because they smelt it and it didn't smell bad anymore to them. It just smelt like their poos. <laughs> um, because it would have had a really musky smell because it was in the shed over there. It's been over there for years. So it did the job and it's doing it really well. We'll probably put some more metal under there, maybe a couple of buckets, maybe a couple of um, spadefuls. It'll come up real well. Okay, let's shoot down. Here, feed out to these girls. There he goes. 